So, hi, um, I'm discussing touchscreens. I'm going to talk about big ticket fixes. We made lots and lots of fixes, but I'm only going to discuss the most important three. Cloud Online worked great on your computer. You probably have a computer at home, most of you. You probably use Clabber Online on it, but you're at a conference right now. You didn't bring your computer. You probably have a phone. Maybe you have a tablet. Perhaps you've got a laptop. Maybe that laptop has a touch screen. So what's, what's the problem? Well, scrolling around in calc brings up your keyboard a lot. If you have a laptop that has both touch screen and mouse support, you can only use one or the other. And when you're pinching to zoom, if you, if you start moving your fingers around, the document starts moving around unpredictably. Let's fix these. So if you navigate around a spreadsheet, your keyboard pops up. If you put it down, it pops up. Down, pop, down, swipe, pop. It's no good. You end up losing much of your screen real estate to seeing the keyboard on the bottom half of your screen. We hate that. So why does it happen? Well, actually, normally, this is a good thing. When you're on a desktop, you want to be able to start typing in the cell that you're in right away. So we focus into the cell right away. But if you're on a mobile device, you want to have to click. Because otherwise, we focus on an input, your keyboard pops up. So if you have an on-screen keyboard, we should only pop up when you click to edit. We can't tell for sure, unfortunately. So we guess based, if you're on a, based on if you're on a mobile device. Or if you're an integrator, you can tell us if you know. I made both a post message and UI defaults. So these are probably the things you're using to configure Collabor Online already. If you're an integrator, you can use these. The hint on-screen keyboard and hint no on-screen keyboard and the on-screen keyboard hint. If you follow these QR codes or these links, this will tell you how to do that. And so if you're in, on an integrator that has uh, supported this, or if we detect that you're likely to have an on-screen keyboard, we'll stop the keyboard popping up when you move around. You'll have to click. This is much smoother. And integrators, you can override our detection if you know that we're wrong. OK, OK. But I said three things. Second thing, what if you're on a Chromebook. This has a touch screen. It also has a touchpad, and you can also attach a mouse. Before, we had conflicting things that were needed. So when you right click, we, we want to open a menu. You can't right click on a touch screen. You need to long press instead, but we don't want a long click to open the menu. The way we got around this was we registered one or the other at the start. We detected whether you had a touch screen. And if you did, we would register touch events. And if you didn't, we would register click events. But you can turn this between a, ta a tablet and a laptop. You know, you can turn it like this. And suddenly you, lo you lose your touchpad. And maybe you turn it like this again. And now you want your mouse events. So before running these events, we now check if the event itself was from a touch screen. We register both sets. And that lets us choose, do we want to run the mouse code or do we want to, want to run the touch code? Some, some code needs to know without an event though. You know, like, uh, like this cursor drop flash, right? If you're selecting text on a touch screen, you want to select text and you want to see that so you can drag it to move the text. In that case, we can detect if you have a touch screen attached to your system. Finally, pinching and panning. If you move your fingers while pinching to zoom, the document don't, doesn't always move correctly. Sometimes it'll move faster or slower. Sometimes it'll move backwards. It's excitement. So we want to feel like we're dragging the document. Your fingers should stay where they are. That wasn't possible because we weren't taking account of where the pinch started. You could be moved to the wrong position. So I rewrote that. And now zoom pans work how you'd expect in the next version. And the document moves at the speed of your fingers. We keep the center of your fingers in the same place. So pinching, zooming, panning all feel like you're physically moving the document. Next, we could implement ex uh, experimental browser APIs to better control the on-screen keyboard. 
we're improving always this uh, on-screen keyboard detection so that we can do a better job. And we're looking at offsetting the zoom when you get to the document edge, because right now, if you move to the edge of the document and then move back, you'll stick. I hope to bring lots more touch improvements in the future. Thank you very much.